guess when it comes to the actual writing of the piece where it really, really becomes what it's going to become. It's about character. And the dialogue just comes out of the character. I don't lead the characters. I let the characters lead me, uh, both as far as who they are and the conversations and even the scenario itself. And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name. Writing women. characters that are unlike yourself is a really powerful kind of empathy machine. When I write Steve Rogers, you have to write that soaring rhetoric and it, it has to come from somewhere very hopeful because Steve is the best of us and he believes in the best of you. And it changes you when you write characters that think in different ways. Tell me what to be. I don't know, just don't be a dick. Ray Skywalker. Look, legacy is a big word, and a word that can hold many different meanings to a variety of different people. From race to gender, sexuality, background, experience, fictional to non-fictional, legacy is a word that overshadows all, and a word that in some way, shape, or form, every single person is striving for, rather that shows in the shape of generational fame and fortune, accomplishing an extraordinary feat, or even just commentating all of the Sunday NFL games at one time for the masses because that's just the right way to watch football. I love you, Scott. And while obviously there is a spectrum of extremes within my examples, the point of that soliloquy is that legacy is not something that comes cheap, especially in Hollywood. And for all of the slander that the term the modern audience gets nowadays in the chronically online internet wars, grasping the modern audience's attention, dedication, and fandom is not an easy feat especially when you think about it in terms of long-term generational fandom, which is why today we are talking about legacy characters, because I am sure, as many of you can tell by now, legacy characters do not grow on trees. In order to really elaborate on what I mean, in my lifetime alone, the only characters that I feel as if have really traversed the mountain of character growth, character development, and fan appreciation to achieve the title of a legacy character would be Neo from The Matrix, Frodo, John Wick, Ethan Hunt, Heath Ledger's Joker, and of course, the almighty goat himself, Anakin Skywalker. And while you could argue that some of these characters aren't even original characters, I do genuinely believe that for the examples that I have just listed, and for the rest that I will end up just getting into, will continue to live on as their respective actor characters for their specific mark or accomplishment that they have left on the cinema world in some way, shape, or form. Actors that are so defined and ingratiated into the character being portrayed that even generations down the line, the audience will remember their names. And as an audience member, while you might not be able to put the definition of a legacy character into a black and white definition, you as a fan know exactly what I'm talking about. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, when it comes to Hollywood, if they were to attempt to describe what a legacy character meant to them as a studio, I'm sure that they would say it's more of the suit or the logo, or the brand, a mindset of anybody can just take up the mantle of a legacy and make it their own. And while to a degree that could be true, you see how our two definitions, the two outlooks, couldn't be more different when it comes to Hollywood and the audience, but in that same breath, that would be excluding astronomically important characters introduced over the years on the animation or creature feature side of Hollywood like Alien, Predator, Chucky, the entire cast of characters and Avatar The Last Airbender, not to mention characters such as Ahsoka who have become a fan favorite character in regards to the entirety of the Star Wars universe. What about Shrek, Spongebob, Homer Simpson, or Peter Griffin? You see, legacy is a slippery slope. And while I can pretty much guarantee that you know most if not all of the characters that I just mentioned, I have been blessed enough to feel as if I have had many in my life to choose from. I believe that Hollywood though is on a downwards trend when it comes to this problem. But the question is, or I guess the questions are, is why and what has changed? Was it Hollywood? Is it the audience? Or was it both by proxy? Of course, I am just a yapping bloke with an internet connection spouting off my consistent opinions in an inconsistent time, pretty much making me an international hero when I really think about it. But I believe that this problem really comes down to one core issue, one core decision that honestly has become the umbrella problem for many of the problems that Hollywood is facing over the past decade streaming. In a time where I believe the aspect of character writing has been 
cast aside completely, either in the name of pumping out as much content that the audience could feasibly consume, or in the name of capitalizing on branding and recognition alone, without having to put in the necessary legwork in order to maintain that fandom. And because of that, when it comes to the cinema side of Hollywood, I believe that behind the scenes mindset and prioritization from the studios just overflows and overlaps, not only when it comes to the quality of the character writing and character directions overall, but sheer importance of character arcs and characters in its entirety, shifting the goalposts of what they believe the audience desires and what they believe made our beloved franchises not only work, but thrive. My point is, is that Hollywood has lost the plot when it comes to character creation. In my generation, I was blessed to be introduced to characters like Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow, a character that represents the very definition of a legacy character, a character that demanded the audience's attention from his very first scene and encapsulated the audience with his charm, charisma, witty banter, and comedic stoicism, growing an original franchise into one of the highest grossing franchises of all time, and a character that is in still high demand to this very day, to the point where the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise continues to be on hiatus without his inclusion. Or characters like John Wick, another original character, and while sure it helped that the legend himself Keanu Reeves already had a legendary character under his belt with Neo from the Matrix franchise, but this was a character and therefore a movie that was not easy to get launched in Hollywood. For most of you that do not know, screenings for the first John Wick were not that great, and this was a franchise that almost got canned before even leaving the runway. I mean, what a dodged bullet, no pun intended. With each film in the franchise earning more and more money with its box office returns, the John Wick franchise is still alive and well with no end in sight with potentially interesting characters that demand spinoffs like Ballerina dropping next year, even though there will only be one John Wick. And there's absolutely no way I could even have a video like this without even mentioning the legendary work of Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. It's truly hard to imagine what the cinematic world would really even look like without Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. One of the greatest casting choices of all time. RDJ has not only done the unthinkable when it comes to his own personal life in an era that we live in, overcoming his questionable choices in the past to becoming a household name that children and grown men alike can look up to. Let's be real, even my grandma knows who Iron Man is. What the character of Iron Man has been able to accomplish in regards to the cinema world is nothing short of miraculous, a character arc that stands the test of time and pretty much stands on the scale with characters such as Luke Skywalker and Anakin Skywalker, two characters with such rich and deep development throughout a slew of films for audiences to grow and gravitate towards. Propelling a franchise and a brand to achieving one of, if not the greatest cinematic achievement of all time with the conclusion of the 22 film Infinity Saga, concluding his character with what is deemed as one of the most iconic lines in film history, a callback that put his character on the map and inside of households, and elevating an entire genre of cinema into what almost seemed like a monopoly at one point at its highest of peaks in Phase 3. Casting Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man will go down as genuinely one of the greatest decisions in cinema history. The downfall of character writing has really taken the biggest hit when it comes to our lack of creativity Hollywood era, and while I am a character over every other aspect type of consumer, so maybe this whole discussion just hits a little bit more home for me, I do genuinely believe that the skill, dedication, reliability, creativity, and sheer importance of the art of character writing, character development, character arcs, and the craft of what it means to build an immersive, detailed, and relatable character has hit an all-time low, and that is not a good thing. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Oh, if there are any characters that you felt like I missed, by all means, let me know. I'm in the era of the 2000s and the 2010s. I'll leave a link to my Twitter and Letterboxd in the description, just in case you guys want to go check that out. Again, I want to thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that is all the words I got for you today. Bye.